these articles that came out about the misgendering of the school shooter, which is so oh, this is crazy wild. This is insane. First of all, that person's dead. Okay, it doesn't matter if you call it a boy or a girl. That's a dead person who killed three children and three adults in a horrific way, went into a school and shot a bunch of people up. And it's a biological male. It's a biological male, which by the way is all shooters, all school shooters. Almost all shooters in general are biological males. I thought that it was, oh, okay. I thought, I thought she was, a, I thought he was a trans male. No? Am I, I do not stuff? believe so. Okay. See, that's how confusing it is. It is confusing. It's so confusing. Well, and of course, they're I mean... calling it a woman in all the mainstream media now. Okay. And they're, they have apologized for misgendering. I see. Some people have. Okay. Which must mean you're talking about a biological male. Right. Well, it, let's find that out. Let's be real clear, <laughs> because I'm I'm 99% sure, but I just want to be 100% but sure. But I think it's interesting. I mean, what's clear is that there was misgendering going on. What does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. It's Look, look. I, I think this whole thing is nonsense. Yeah. I really do. Right. I think it's fucking nonsense. If yeah. you, do you have a biological male with a penis who shot up a bunch of people? Then that's a man. I don't give a fuck what their feeling is. Right. If, you, if an archaeologist found their body 5,000 years from now, they would say that's a skeleton of a male. I have to say, I think I'm I'm coming to the place where I'm. I think I think that gender itself is just not a thing, and that it's really um, there's just okay. So please say anything, Audrey Hill. Oh, it's a trans male. Yeah. This so is, it okay. Yeah. So why are they saying a woman? Why are they giving it a woman's well, name? Well, so that was so. If so you, it's a it's a female yeah. that took hormones. So it's a so is this the first ever biological female? I mean, first of all, mass this is shooter? crazy. Yeah, I mean, this is. I mean, first of all, yeah, I mean, like, like, like biological women don't commit. You know, this is crazy. Many, I mean, I think it's like that's like that a is, tiny percentage of homicides. I I am so confused because I swore I read. I think everybody's confused on this. Yeah. So yeah. this is a biological female. Are you confused? Article that says it was born Aiden Hale. Right. But I don't. That's why I'm confused. Now, my understanding is that she's she was a natal female that transitioned to become a trans male, he, and that he, but that, that he was then misgendered by the mainstream woke media as a woman. Oh my God. I mean, right, so. This is why, this is a perfect case study. Aiden is the new name, Audrey was the original. Right. Oh, so when they called her Audrey, they were dead naming her. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God! So yeah. meanwhile, I thought I thought I was right, and I was right. dead wrong. Right. So this is the first ever school shooter that's a biological female. I don't know. Is that the, is that true? I believe so. Yeah. I believe so, which is crazy. Which also speaks to the effect of testosterone. Well, yeah. that was yeah. I mean, we're yeah. speculating. I don't know. But if I mean, this person assuming, was on testosterone, assuming he, because mm -hmm. I don't want a dead name. Uh, <laughs> well, you're not dead naming by saying he. You're misgendering. Oh right. No, I'm saying you don't no, know, no, you don't no, no. I'm saying <laughs> you don't even know what you're doing. This is all nonsense. No, I know it is. You're saying it he is. by saying he. You're not dead naming. Yeah, right. By saying he, I'm by saying giving Audrey. him the name that he yeah. wanted. Aiden, which was. He wanted to be a he, even though he oh, was a biological boy. What female. Mental what a mental gymnastics no, for we sure. have to do for this craziness. You made this, I think you had this, I think you were the first one that really said, that drew attention to like, that all this, all the confusion around sex and gender was a symptom of cult, of civilizations in decline. Yeah, well, it was, I got it from Douglas Murray. Oh, Douglas Murray. Yeah, this. Douglas Murray uh, talked about this that it seems like every civilization when they're at the brink of collapse becomes obsessed with gender and he talked about ancient greece and ancient rome and it just seems like a thing that people do when there's no real like like physical conflict right so people look for conflict that doesn't exist and they find conflict in standard norms they find conflict in societal norms